In tonight's Sports Final Spotlight, putting yourself in a position to succeed. Dayton's John Hildebrandt always had a knack for basketball, mostly because his dad always made sure John had a place to play. The Hildebrands improvised, and as Ron Pivo shows us, basketball genius was the end result. In the small town of Dayton, there are farms and barns as far as the eye can see. But there's one old barn that is quite unique. This foundation right here was laid August 20th, 1938. Downstairs, it's where the Hildebrands keep their heavy equipment. Follow me. But upstairs, it's hoop heaven. We always had a half court up here originally, so I'd come up here anyway, and my dad knew how much I came up, and, and uh, it was always his dream to make it a full court, so we eventually made it a full court right after my eighth grade year. John is kind of a legend in these parts. He led Dayton to two straight state titles. In both his junior and senior years, he was named the Oregon 2A Player of the Year, and since high school, John has continued his hoop dreams, becoming one of the best ball handlers in the land. I wrote the book on, on ball handling, Super Handles Ball Handling Bible. And this is it, 500 pages all on ball handling. It's the war and peace of ball handling. And John's got a brand new video coming out soon all about how to handle the basketball. It's been in development since I was knee high to a fly's eye. <laughs> John has been working on his ball handling skills since seeing a Pete Maravich movie when he was in the second grade. The philosophy behind this is that if you can handle two basketballs well, one basketball is going to feel like it's a part of you. John's nickname is Super Angels because of his unique ability to handle a basketball. At the beginning, I couldn't do all this stuff. It took a lot of time and commitment and dedication, and I had goals. And uh, I just worked and worked and worked, and gradually got better and better and better. Super Angels gained the advantage. John's upcoming video has 2,000 drills and close to 200 moves that a player can use off the dribble. He says that given the chance, he could teach NBA players a thing or two. And because my ball handling is better than them and I can help them out. <laughs> it's that simple. Most players can't go to their weak hand very well. Even in the NBA, it's a sad shame. John teaches his techniques to little kids. He says all the moves he uses are legal and can be used anywhere, anytime. All the stuff I do here is to help prepare players for a real game situation. Because any player that can break their defender down off the dribble is worth their weight in platinum. John's family barn and the way he can handle a basketball are right out of the movies. It's like watching Hoosiers come to life. So does art imitate life? At the Hildebrand's barn, it certainly has. In Dayton, Ron Pivo, Oregon Sports Final.